In the 2017 budget, the government proposed to provide free tabs to students and teachers in GCE advanced level. Yesterday, the Minister of Education, speaking to reporters at the ministry premises, underscored that this proposal will be implemented as a pilot project. A total sum of 5 billion rupees was allocated for this project. However, later the president intervened and instructed to put a stop to this project when the memo put forward by the Ministry of Education seeking permission to award the procurement tender to one particular supplier was taken up for discussion at a cabinet meeting in April. He was commenting on the information available to him. When others made comments as president, he must take them into consideration. He wanted it to be presented to another committee and it has been done. Two representatives, each from the president and the prime minister, are in this committee. There are two representatives from my ministry as well in this committee of experts. We are looking at this project and we will launch this at least as a pilot project. Though the reasons for the president to decide to put a stop to this project are not clear, the National Education Commission, which makes recommendations to the president on education policy in all its aspects, has ruled the TAB project was not suitable for students. A TAB is not a learning instrument. It can be used to access the Internet. The Internet is used for entertainment purposes. That is not required to be given to children. Children need good books for their education. I clearly stated that this was not suitable at all. I informed them this would be a complete waste. Money is being used for this. They do not consult us on monetary matters, but they consult us for other matters. The Education Ministry, which is gearing up to launch the TAP program as a pilot project, last year printed the Grade 8 Geology textbooks on artificial paper, and this too was a pilot project. These textbooks were printed in complete deviation from the procurement process. But after they were given to students, the books were collected back from them after the Institute on Technology had informed the Presidential Investigative Unit that the paper was harmful and poisonous. The Presidential Investigative Unit had uncovered that the government incurred a loss of 128 million rupees through the printing of these books. At yesterday's media briefing, Questions were raised as to why the recommendations made by the Presidential Investigative Unit against those responsible for the 128 million loss were not enforced. It was just a test, so it is not required. For more on this, we now cross over to our colleague Zulfik Farzan, who is standing by on the third floor. Zulfik. Thank you very much, Ramesh. Now, if you were following the Action TV expose, there the figure is 128 million rupees to print the grade 8 textbooks on geology, and that was a loss to the government. 128 million rupees. Now, if a government minister, a responsible government minister, is making a statement that we must just brush aside the 128 million rupees, what more can we expect from them? Now, the Ministry of Education over the years has gone on to launch so-called pilot projects to the tune of billions of rupees, and most of those projects have not been made use of. Now, there's an attempt to launch a pilot project at a cost of 5,360 million rupees, and this tender had been given to the bidder who quoted the highest price, uh, deviating from the actual price. Now, this is a third highest bidder. Now, the committee that was appointed makes recommendations uh, claiming that these devices are durable and have no health hazards to the students. But the question is, have the appropriate and relevant tests been carried out to check the durability and to check if this is safe for the students to use? Because there are globally accepted practices that need to be followed when checking on the durability and the safety aspect of certain devices. Now the Minister of Education as a whole has a weird way of functioning. Now there was a procurement for virtual reality units for 137 schools. Now in this uh, procurement there was no condition imposed on how the health hazards should be inspected or looked into, but it was awarded to the company that quoted the highest price. Now, the government and the authorities in responsible positions must make it public as to how they selected these devices and the criteria used to check the standards, the durability, as well as the health hazard aspect that clearly impacts the students.
Now, if you listen to the Action TV expose, the government minister says he does not know why the president made uh, a statement to stop the process of going into this project. But the president appointed a committee with representatives from the president himself, the prime minister, and also professionals from the universities of Moratua and Kalania, and inclusive of the TRC, to make recommendations on this matter. Now, if the said pilot project is being done, it should be based on the recommendations that are put forward by this committee. But bear in mind that this committee was only appointed for the procurement process. But the most important question right now is, what or why are these tabs being given? What are they going to be used for? Now, the National Education Commission, the official in the Action TV expose, mentioned that the tab is not a learning instrument, and he said that it is not required. Now, here's another twist to the story. Now, the advanced level students are all aged 17 to 18, and they are the ones who are going to be given these tabs. Now, in two years' time, they will become eligible voters, and one could assume by that time, could these tabs that were given to the students be viewed as a bribe to obtain those votes. Now, we are not saying that the authorities are bribing these students to obtain votes in the coming elections by the use of these tabs. However, someone else could assume that the provision of these tabs to students for the advanced level could be some form of bribe. Now, we at Newsus will continue to monitor the developments surrounding the tabs that are to be given to advanced level students.